A team of marine and social scientists from Newcastle University in the United Kingdom is currently in the Virgin Islands for a research project aimed at securing the future of coral reefs and coastal communities in the Virgin Islands and the region. They are conducting interviews, workshops and communicating with residents as part of the Future of Reefs in a Changing Environment or, or Forest project. Research associate at Newcastle University, Sarah Young, told JTV News that several factors have led to the decline of coral reefs over the last 30 years and could have long-term impacts to the environment. So we're worried that the coral reefs in the Caribbean, which are already in um, a less than healthy state, might be worse um, affected by climate change and that would have knock-on impacts for the community here in BVI both in terms of the fishermen directly in terms of the number of fish, but also in terms of um, the second largest economy here, the tourism industry. If your coral reefs aren't very healthy, then the golden sandy beaches are going to erode quicker. Um, and the clear waters, which people enjoy for the boating and snorkeling, um, wouldn't be the same. So. Coral reefs have many values to the people in BVI and we're hoping that by doing interviews with members of the community we can identify um, which areas they use, um, whether they see coral reefs as important or not, um, and potentially document some of the changes that have happened in the environment in BVI over the last 50-60 years. The key objectives of the Future of Reefs project are to determine how people use the sea and the reefs, what changes people have noticed over time, how well people think the coral reefs are being managed, and how important the reefs are to the people of the BVI. The information collected will be presented to the community through workshops shared with government decision makers and used at the international level to help scientists understand how reefs might change in the future. So we're doing face-to-face um, -face interviews with 50 what we call resource users in East End and Cane Garden Bay, which will be people who work in the fishing industry, the tourism industry, the dive industry. Then we're also doing 25 interviews with random households. Um, so if you get somebody knock on your door saying, hello, I'm from the Future of Reefs Project, would you have a few minutes to talk to us? Please say yes. Um, they're some of the most interesting interviews we do. They tend to be with people who don't know what a coral reef is, don't swim very often, don't see how coral reefs relate to their lives and yet when you start talking they're like oh yes um, so I used to go swimming and I used to do this and I don't do it anymore it's about the kind of fish they like to eat and how some fish are now more available or less available it's about how the changes they've seen in the community because obviously with climate change we're not just interested in how coral reefs might fare but how the communities that rely on them might fare which means that we like to th talk about significant events that have happened and how people have coped. For example, the economic meltdown in 2008, what did people do? Did they have to get more jo different jobs or change work? Did they move? Um, did some people go back to doing fishing? Because it's obviously quite, uh, it's a free way, free protein, isn't it? Um, so there's some of our more interesting interviews. And then we uh, will be doing another community meeting in each location when we finish the study, which will be the beginning of March, to give everyone the results. We don't want to leave without telling people what we found. We're also going to be doing a national meeting with some of the policy makers and the ministers to say what people have been telling us. And that will be the beginning of March as well. Over the last four years, the Future of Reefs in the Changing Environment project has made substantial efforts to understand the relationship between people and reefs. Extensive interviews, surveys and community meetings have already been conducted in the Virgin Islands as well as six Caribbean countries including Barbados, Honduras, St. Kitts and Nevis and Belize. The team arrived in the Virgin Islands in early January and will be here for three months. For more information about the project, you can contact the Conservation and Fisheries Department.